building on the solving equations, um, you can actually solve simultaneous equations with matrices. So, for example, if we had two equations, AX plus BY equals E, and CX plus DY equals F, you can write that out in matrix form, where you have A, C, B, D, X and Y, equals E and F. Now if we relate that back to what we were doing before, we have matrix A multiplied by matrix X equaling matrix B. So you can, finding the inverse of A, find out the mystery values for X and Y. So I might do an example with you now. Alright, here we go. So this is question 1A on page 844 if you've got the same textbook as me. So the first thing we need to do is find the determinant. So remember we do the mains first, so 2 by 5, that is actually a 5. And then we take away the other 2, which is 3 by 3, so that's 10 minus 9, which is 1. Okay, so the determinant is 1. So the next step is we go, so let's call this matrix A, and this was X, and this is B just so we keep the same formula we've been using. So a to the minus one equals one over one, and we swap the mains, so five, two, and we change the sign of these. Okay, from now on we can forget about that. Okay, so that's our inverse. So if we follow the same process we had before where we've got ax equals b, then we need to do a to the minus one of times by a times by x equals b. We rearrange, we keep going. That gives us i, oh, I forgot a to the minus one there. So x equals a to the minus one b. So all I need to do to find out x and y is do this. So a to the minus one times by this. So let's just check we can do it. It's 2 by 2 by 2 by 1, rows and columns, remember. So yes, I can. And my result will be a 2 by 1, which is what we'd expect. So if we do that, so we use this first row here. So 5 times 2 plus 5 times 2 plus negative 3 times 2. And we use the bottom column to do this one here. We get minus 3 times 2 plus 2 times 2. So that is that. So we get 10 minus 6, so that's 4. And 6 minus 6 plus 4, which is minus 2. So that's the solution to that simultaneous equation here.